Hello Sumo fans, I'm Scott Finlay and welcome to another episode of the Sumo News right here on World of Sumo. A sad news today folks as I have some retirements and injury update announcements on the recent Kujos this first week of Hatsubasho. So let's get right into it. First up, Tochi Ocean, the beloved Georgian giant, dislocated his left shoulder on day four against Koto Shoho. You can tell right away he had done something to it. Now sumo fans, with his age, existing injuries and the fact this may require surgery, I am unsure if we will see Tochi Ocean back on the clay, but that is just my thoughts. Even if he does, I have doubts it will be for very long. He is able to start his own hair and is super famous in his homeland and in Japan, so he does have plenty to fall back on. With that said, do you guys think Tochi's active career sand timer is about to run out? Let me know in the comments. Next up, and pulling out from day 6, Papa Yasu, aka Takayasu, along with veteran Okonoumi, both went Kujo. Takayasu citing injury, of which we all know, as of late there have been a few. This time, it's due to a right tibia proximal end bone contusion, which he needs three weeks recovery time for. After his amazing last couple of basho, I had high hopes for the Philly Bear, but alas, we must wait to March and see if he can retake Sanyaku once again. Okunumi, who as mentioned pulled out on the same day as Takayasu, has now confirmed his retirement from the clay, which to be fair was no secret that he was ready to go soon, but still a sad day for sumo fans as he was one of the mainstays of the last decade. Shout out to Jason from Jason's All Sumo channel as I know he is one of his favourites, if not his favourite, and he will be extra sad to see him go. His Oyakata name is Kimigahama. Good luck to all the guys in their next chapter. And sumo fans, that's it for this episode of the Sumo News. Thank you as always for watching and remember, like, subscribe, hit that bell, oh what a nugget!